Have fun! Don't fight! As if that's not gonna happen. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, although I wouldn't do this in the first place, so do everything I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, all she means is no hookers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll FaceTime you every five minutes. Well, that's it, it's bloody happening. Let's go to Norway. But then we're going the wrong way because we need to check tire pressures. This is around the corner. It's the one good thing that Honda did with this bike. Here's the back one's the best one with the single sided swing on. It doesn't matter where the wheel is, you can get to it. Well, yeah, it's a shame. You haven't got one of those anymore, have you? <laughs> it's just in bits in somebody else's yard. is square already. So 200 k's we've done today so far. But there we go. We're in Denmark. So here's the first Scandinavian fill-up. How do you feel about it? I feel like the price is dead. <laughs> oh, go on. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, no, don't, no. It's like frostbite, but worse, when the blood goes back into the corners of your ass. Make it stop. My ass can't take it anymore. I've already done 600 miles. Right? Yeah, right, you win. It's my ass. I'm being involved in there. I don't want to upset you, Lightweight, but you've got a nice big screen and a fairing and aerodynamic panniers. I've been getting smashed to shit for the last three hours. Yeah. I think somebody, somebody put spikes on my seat when I wasn't looking. Ow! You know, the stinger things that they throw across the road to stop criminals. I've got one of those on my seat now. Right then, last push, let's have it! On the outside, looking in I really wasn't sure what I was getting Between the highways, on the sea Waiting for something to get to me It would be a terrible, sad, and lonely ride for you to go back to Hamburg. <laughs> I'll be right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame. You have a nice ride. I'll see you up there. Hello. There's not many folks, are there? No way it'll be empty. Oh, I'm glad you made it, despite your best efforts. That's a good 
slow start. We gave it hell for leather to get here in time for the boat and the bloody thing came an hour late. Now we're gonna to get to Norway in the dark. So rather than getting some cheaper fuel in Denmark and a nice bit of some grub to eat before we get on the boat, we're gonna to have to have a 45,000 euro burger and chips and uh, had to put the clear visor on. But I suppose they're all worse things in life. And we're off. Finally heading over the last bit of water to holiday destination bucketless Norway land. Honestly did not believe this was actually gonna happen. There's several points over the last few few days. A very shiny floor, isn't it? Thank you very much, Mr. Capes. Two hours late, which means a ride to our cabin in the dark. Sorry about that, folks. It's not going to be a great view from here on out. But we'll see you tomorrow for some incredible fjordula action. Every man for himself. Oh, I'm not got my boots down, I'm I wasn't sure what I was hoping for, you see But you act like gravity and you are good It's beautifully parked Right then, well that's the coffee and milk for morning's breakfast The most important part of the day But now for the second most important part of the day, petrol so we can razz it tomorrow We couldn't write this stuff, we just chose the pumps at random and this one, Ian, is <laughs> 4 foot 13 yeah. and uh, the buttons are up there and I'm 6 foot 20, <laughs> the buttons down here, oh, ridiculous. This is turning into a, a farcical comedy of errors of a day. <laughs> Let's just, let's, let's just say the holiday starts tomorrow, shall we? Yeah, let's go and, let's go and lie down and have a lion bar. So there we go, first fill up in Norway and I've treated the machine to some of the fat stuff. Some Bliffery 98. Good old Bliffery 98. It sounds like a really shit festival in Wales. Oh, I remember that time when I went to Bliffery 98, right? I had 24 pints of brains IPA, right? And I woke up inside that woman from the supermarket. Debra. Tomorrow.